Hello students, in this video we'll discuss when two matrices are simultaneously diagonalizable and conditions under which two matrices commute when they're multiplied together. So we say that A and B, which are n by n matrices, are simultaneously diagonalizable if A is equal to P, D, P inverse, and B is equal to P, D, tilde, P inverse, where these P's are the same matrices. In other words, I can diagonalize A, P is the matrix of eigenvectors of A. I can diagonalize B, P is also the matrix of eigenvectors of B, right? So in other words, in this case, A and B have the same eigenvectors up to scaling, right? Great. And so now let's suppose, so here's a proposition, the simple proposition. If A and B are simultaneously diagonalizable, then A commutes with B. Remember that for matrices, matrix, matrix multiplication doesn't commute in general, but for simultaneously diagonali diagonalizable matrices, they do, right? And the proof of this is straightforward, right? So let's prove this. It's an easy proof. Proof. We know that A is P, D, P inverse, and B has the same eigenvectors. So B is equal to P, D tilde, P inverse. And therefore, A, B is going to be what? It's going to be P, D, P inverse, and then hit that with P, D tilde, P inverse. The middle ones cancel out. This is P, D, D tilde, P inverse. And I know that D and D tilde commute because they're diagonal matrices. So this is P, D tilde, D, P inverse, and then this is equal to what? Then this is going to be equal to P, D tilde, P inverse, and then times P, I just fit in the identity over there, D, P inverse, right? And this, of course, is B, and that's A, so this is B times A, and that gives us our proof. So simultaneously diagonalizable matrices commute with one another. Now, there's a partial converse to this, which requires just a few more conditions over here. So what's the partial converse? So the partial converse is this proposition. If A has n distinct eigenvalues, and they're n by n matrices, distinct eigenvalues, and AB is equal to BA. So in other words, if they commute and A has n distinct eigenvalues, then they're simultaneously diagonalizable, then A and B are simultaneously diagonalizable. Okay, now we prove this. Proof. So I know that A has n distinct eigenvalues, so I can diagonalize it. It's P, D, P inverse. And so let's look at A times B. So A times B, for example, is going to be P, D, P inverse times B, right? And so now I know this is equal to B times A. So this is also equal to B times P, D, P inverse, right? So in other words, this is just A, B, and that's just going to be B times A. And so these two expressions over here on the inside of the equalities have to be equal to each other. That's the key of this argument over here, right? And so now what I can do is I can hit both sides of this equation over here. What I want to do is I want to hit both sides to, get, to show that these things commute with B, that B commutes with P, D, P inverse, right? And so what we'll do is the following. So now what I can do is this. I'm going to take this equation over here and hit it with a P inverse, right? So this will tell me that D, P inverse, B is equal to what? Is equal to, if I do a P inverse over here, I'm going to have a P inverse... B, P, D, P inverse. And then I'm going to hit uh, this thing over here with a, uh, with a P, right? And so this says that D, P inverse, B, P is equal to what? Is equal to P inverse, B, P, 
D, right? In other words, this expression over here, this P inverse BD, P inverse BD commutes with D. So P inverse B, P commutes with D. If that commutes with the diagonal, if that commutes with the diagonal matrix, it in fact is diagonalizable. So B is diagonalizable. with B being P, D, P inverse. And that falls in the fact that when you commute with the diagonal matrix and that is gonna force you into that, and within, if this invertible structure over this similar invert, this matrix which is similarity equivalence to B, commutes with the diagonal matrix, then B is diagonalizable. And that proves that A and B are simultaneously diagonalizable if they commute. So in other words, with the extra assumption that you have n distinct eigenvalues, you can prove that when two matrices commute, then they have to be simultaneously diagonalizable. But if they're simultaneously diagonalizable, they always commute with each other. So this is pretty much as close as we can get to a characterization of when two matrices, A and B, commute under matrix multiplication. Thank you very much.